This is a tale as old as time. A crypto dork gets taken for a ride. This just happens to be a very high profile one. So there are a lot of things to learn from this. And unfortunately, somebody ends up getting canceled for just doing what they're biologically programmed to do. And crypto charity CEO. So a, a charity guy, a crypto dork who's running a charity gets canceled after a misogynistic rant on LinkedIn. Of all the places the post a quote-unquote misogynistic rant we'll see how misogynistic it is here in a second but to do it on linkedin on a professional site like okay okay ceo of crypto charity has stepped down following what his own company described as misogynistic comments aimed at women in the australian startup and venture capital space Interesting. Give Tree founder and CEO Sam Joel made the comments in response to an article after championing women in startups. Oh, do we have a male feminist being a creep? Oh boy, so many exciting developments. Featuring human VC venture capital founder uh, Elaine Stead uh, that was shared on LinkedIn. Among his now-deleted comments seen by several media outlets, Joel reportedly wrote on LinkedIn and in emails to several women, Get off your period, get good, earn your salary with skills, not PR, lol, pathetic. That's kind of funny. Why the fuck are you writing it down, you idiot? Bang them, oh, bang you, then abortion. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, on that demon time, are you single? We should make a baby, assuming I want to bang you, uh, because let's be honest, you look fat. <laughs> All right, this guy's super based. Dollar store Ryan Gosling out here, absolutely wildin'. Uh, he also wrote that diversity might be the dumbest shit of the entire century. All right, let him cook. And claimed that women have somehow secured a major or majority employment in most verticals now. I think that's indisputable, even not just even in Australia, but at least when it comes to enrollment in colleges, graduation, it's like 60% of people in college are female and graduate. Er, yeah. And people who graduate with degrees, like 75% of them are women. So yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, they are taken over and their friends that are already employed at these places. Yeah, they're getting the in at these other places as well. So it's um, not an opinion. That's just fact and still complaining. Classic women. All right. Among the women targeted by his abusive comments were Stead, the founder and managing director of fintech uh, public relations firm. Oh, fi public relations. Oh, okay, third hemisphere. Hannah Moreno and founder of the CEO of super fintech com uh, comparator, uh, super fierce uh, Triana Probert. Okay, uh, the uproar ensued on LinkedIn uh, with his targets and the community members reporting his comments to the social media platform. Yeah, wow, you invite a bunch of Karens in through the front door and then they start Karening big shock linkedin's decision that the comments did not contravene its professional community policies made many question whether the social media giant was implicit in perpetuating the abuse now they just looked it's like no these were private communications i don't know why you're getting so bent out of shape this is misogyny but this is why guys okay if you're gonna talk your shit like that never put it down in words that can be relayed and shared with other people if you're gonna talk shit like this Keep it between the boys, because those don't really look, and I'm sure that those are just snippets of larger conversations. If you know who you're talking about, and it can be used against you, it will be used against you, because somebody out there is going to try to be simping for this bitch. They end up catching wind of this information, and they're just obviously, oh my god, you can't be saying that about my queen, trying to use it as a, a backdoor in, because guess what? These crypto guys, guys who are in the crypto sphere, okay, this is what you need to know if you don't already. They are some of the biggest simps that are out there because these are the guys just kind of like trust fund kids. They end up catching a pump on some coin that's out there, not really knowing how to create the skills necessary to create long-term, long-lasting wealth. And they just wake up one morning and all of a sudden they're millionaires. And then they have predatory women coming in the side and they just maintain this natural state of a blue-pilled existence and never have to move out of it because they got money, they get attractive women, and as long as they still have the money, they'll still have the attractive women. But guys who have to build on their own, have to get it out the mud themselves, they end up learning the skills. 
that are necessary to move in today's day and age that are necessary to be attractive so that you don't have to peddle rumors and slander in order to hopefully get a get a little crumb of pussy because i guarantee that's what happened here if linkedin doesn't see this as sexual harassment and their remedy is simple delete the comments and remove the commentator is it any wonder that our physical workplaces don't respond adequately and this is something else that i've been talking about multiple times over and i think that it's irrefutable proof at this point in time the intersex workplace men and women working together has been an abject fucking failure these conversations happen between the boys all the fucking time and women talk about men all the fucking time and when the two end up mixing somebody's feelings end up getting hurt and then of course people end up getting fired not because they're bad at their job it's because oh your feelings got hurt that's all right we'll just get rid of this person that uh it just so happens if they ended up leaving, you'd end up taking their position. It's just a strange coincidence how this keeps happening. Instead, wrote in a, sub or a subsequent article for Medium, GiveTree subsequently posted an apology on LinkedIn, and Joel revealed that he would be stepping down as CEO. In part, the Give Tree statement read, Over the weekend, our founder Sam Joel made some very inappropriate and hurtful comments towards women on LinkedIn. Yeah, two of them, specifically them. Maybe they are bitches. Like, what are we doing? Unfortunately, these recent comments form part of a larger and ongoing pattern of behavior from Sam that urgently needs to change. Sam would therefore like to wholeheartedly apologize for the damage and harm he had caused these and all women through his words and action. Ugh, God. Yo, this guy's a bigger bitch than the ones that he was con criticizing because guess what? In the words of the great Razor Fist, he says that cancel culture is a two-player sport. If he would have just went, yeah... Yeah, I made those statements. Anyways, he wouldn't have been canceled. They could have been screeching from the rooftops, but is anybody going to go ahead and disappear from working from a fucking charity and just because he was saying bitches be bitches? Yeah, I don't think so, man. He understands that any act of sexism against one woman makes the world a less safe space for all women. Ugh company said joel would also attend therapy to address his sexist and at times misogynistic behavior towards women so he's going to go through the entire re-education camp this is what happens guys these fucking blue-pilled crypto dudes they're bitches all the way down and lash out at women in certain ways behind the scenes as opposed to how they would approach them in real life now see the way that i talk on camera is the way that i talk in real life me in public and and the persona the don consuelo persona it's absolutely no different that's just a more searchable way that you can find me online i keep it 100 everywhere that i go and i encourage everybody else to do it the same way so that they don't have any leverage over the top of you hey did you say those disparaging comments towards women yeah and i'd make them again did you call that guy the rainbow f slur yes and would you like me to scream it at you as well that's the way that you need to move in today's day and age because everybody's going to try to take you down if you ever achieve anything it's just incumbent on you not to play their game but yes, he will also use therapy to address underlying issues stemming from PTSD due to a period of homelessness and a loss of family members. See what happens, man? He was homeless, okay? You know, obviously, probably had some shit going on at the same time, but ended up catching a bump like that off some crypto. Never had to develop the skills. Just got given everything in life. Like an 18-year-old supermodel. Oh, well. But yeah, man, he's making comments. He's making comments about a feminist author. You knew, you knew anything that you were going to put down in writing would be weaponized against you. And then another chick that has pronouns in her fucking bio, activist, like, come on, bro, you were asking for this. This is fucking stupid. In a personal apology, he also posted on LinkedIn, Joel wrote, I started GiveTree five years ago when I was homeless from an internet cafe. My goal was to help people not hurt them. After speaking with Hannah Moreno and Elena Steed, oh my God, I couldn't imagine how insufferable that conversation was. It is clear to me now that my words and actions have hurt people deeply and no longer align with give trees core values or the reason i started give tree in the first place one of these concrete steps i'm taking to realize responsibility for my words and actions is to step down as ceo women and men deserve to be treated with respect and that's non-negotiable shut up bitch shut up bitch i would like to take this opportunity to apologize to everyone i have hurt and express my deep gratitude to hannah for her incredible communication and guidance <laughs>
which has helped me to see what I need to do to change my behavior permanently, starting from today. I hope my actions in the months and years to come demonstrate my commitment to this outcome. You will never be forgiven by a chick that looks like Glenn Close put into a dehydrator. Shit's not going to fucking happen. Reports have surfaced from other women he previously targeted on social media from the Australian Financial Review reported. See what happens? You bend to the mob and then they start to come out of the woodworks and then you have to continue to apologize. So that's going to be your life moving forward, you blithering idiot. Uh, Joel was also asked to leave fish burners. <laughs> Yo, he posts this shit about bitches and he's got, you know, a former place called fish burners. Yeah, maybe this guy's got, maybe he is like an ag We might have found the one misogynist that's actually out there that makes everybody else who keeps it real look really bad. Uh, Sydney-based early startup incubator. Late last year, he was accused of persistently harassing members and staff. Sam was originally welcomed because we were inspired by his story, said Alan Jones, who was chief executive fish burners at the time. But Jones added that eh, we had to ask him to leave or to leave because of bullying and harassment claims. Wow, imagine that. You can take the guy out of the homeless situation, but you can't take the homeless guy out of the degenerate. GiveTree uses crypto technology to help video gamers donate money. Oh my god, this runs all the way back to gaming? Yeah, no wonder he's got such a fucking potty mouth. It's just amazing how he continues to get all of these chances, but a lot of things that you can learn from this situation. Mind your P's and Q's, especially when you're dealing with feminists who are going to take exception to anything that a man says. Stay away from them. Crypto dorks, anybody who's around that industry are terminally fucking blue pill and will snake you at a moment's notice. And thirdly, there might actually be some real misogynists out there. So with all that said, thank you all very much for the gift of your time. I've been Don Consuelo. I want you to follow your gut and get after it. Take care, everyone.